Hey guys, this is my review for Supernatural Season 14, Episode 20, the season finale. There's a lot to unload here. Some of you may be wondering why I delayed this review for so long. Well, because I was watching Endgame. On terms of this episode, and I'm comparing this purely to the season finale of 12 and 13, it's better to a point. After Jack breaks out of the cage, does a little cool show, and then leaves, the brothers are having a morality battle basically of what to do with Jack. Sam is on the side of trying to save him in some way, whereas Dean is in his typical I'm gonna kill him mode. All the while Castiel is also trying to find some way to try and prevent the death of Jack. Jack is basically soulless, but he's trying to find some morality to it. There's a bit in one point in the episode where he makes the world stop lying, which was funny. I admit I liked that part. But then it dragged on a little too long, mainly with the guy who kept on saying, I hate everyone. By the seventh time of him saying that, I was getting a little bit stressed. And I feel that is the comeuppance of this episode in a nutshell. It has cool ideas, it has ingenious ideas almost, but then it drags too long. Then, the worst deus ex machina almost in this show's history Chuck shows up because there's this reference earlier that Castiel was trying to talk to God. He used the thingamabob. He is there purely for Andrew Dabb to try and blame all of the horrible writing over the last few years. Even some of the horrible writing in the years prior on Chuck. They threw everything Kripke has set up. Everything Carver continued into Eleven. They threw it into the shitter to try and basically abstract the blame from their own horrible writing. Apparently, Chuck has literally been playing with Dean and Sam this whole time. It wasn't destiny. It wasn't him just projecting this story. It wasn't him wanting to see these brothers just defy what was expected. No. He's been fucking with them the whole time. We don't figure this out till later. This is after he gives them a gun that says, if you kill the person who you shoot, you also die. So of course, Dean is the one who says he wants to do it. When they go to the cemetery, after Dean holds the gun in Jack's face for what I feel is two straight minutes, there's a great morality fight there. Jack is submissive. He understands what he's done wrong, even if he doesn't fully project the reasons of it because of his lack of soul but he knows that he has to atone for what he's done, and that's why he surrenders himself to Dean. And it's that moment that Dean is having his own conflictions about the whole thing. Castiel and Sam meet, and they all try to converge and convince each other that there's possibly a way. And then Chuck comes in and just shits the fucking bed. I'll admit I am not happy with that. I am not happy with the biggest fucking retcon in this show's history. I was pissed when they did the Gabriel shit. But Chuck, who built this universe, who has tried to make universes before, who had that whole spite with Amara, who's basically been absent the whole time. The fact that Sam and Dean don't do what is written, which is exactly what he wanted them to do with the prophecy bullshit in season five. The fact that he doesn't have this little moment of them doing what he wants, he decides to end the goddamn world. Are you fucking kidding me? How fucking high was Andrew Dad when he wrote this? Like, I'll admit, it sets up an interesting finale to the show. I actually like this idea that the world is basically at its end. How it got there is dumb. It is dumb. But it does lead up to a pretty cool idea of what the end will be. But again, talking about stuff that holds too long, it's a pretty cool shot of all the zombies walking in around Castiel and Sam and the camera pans over the three. And then it shows the zombies again. And then the camera pans over the three. And then it shows the zombies again. And it pans over the three. Then Sam and Dean get weapons, which are these iron little thingies out of this fence. The camera pans over them again. Shows the zombies again. Camera pans over them one more time. And then they get crowd munched. I have a feeling it's because they didn't want to cut the song early, which it's a great song to use, but just do audio editing, guys. Like a simple audio edit could have fixed that. This episode is an up and down journey the whole time. It's good in a lot of points. It's also horrible 
retcon garbage in the other. But in terms of comparing this season finale to the last two, it's a step above, I'll say that. Andrew Dab, you finally wrote a somewhat positive one, even if you had to basically take a giant shit over the entire history of Supernatural. You are bringing up so much fan service with this ending for the sake of fan service to try and cover your own fucking horrible writing. I'm sorry, but I wasn't getting excited when all the stuff was showing up. Oh pandering oh pandering oh you really have run out of every fucking idea in the book admittedly this is something i thought that the show would end with the idea of the brothers literally fighting a third apocalypse no this is like what a fourth apocalypse oh my god i'm kind of indifferent about this episode in terms of how it really adds up but it's a better finale than the last two i'm gonna give this season finale a four out of seven now we can finally start working towards the series finale. Thanks again for watching all of my reviews. I know it pissed a bunch of you off, but I noticed that a few of you started to come around to my way of thinking about the show, and that's cool. You are totally entitled to your own opinion, and whatever you think of this show, I'm going to be watching it all the way to the end, so all of y'all who said, ooh, you don't like it, just stop watching it, it's, it's not going to happen. I'm in this to the end game. So yeah, if you guys want to check out any of my reviews of this season, I'll make sure to have a playlist. It is available. I'll make sure to link that. And then, of course, I will be doing a video talking about Andrew Dabb and just the whole mentality of Supernatural over the last while. I have been working on that, so that will be coming soon. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed the series of reviews. I hope you enjoyed my very, very angry rambling. This is honestly the worst season of this entire show, but... We'll see how it adds up when I do a final. I, that, that's my thought, just when I tally it all up. Anyways, that's all for me. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching the video. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say The Click is finally getting back together in an all new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. You know, Nitz, you can't get more money unless you offer questionable favors. Yeah, guy. Unless, of course, those favors involve the ladies, guy. By support, I mean getting the word out, guys. Oh. Well, couldn't you find a better means than this guy? All he seems to talk about is supernatural. Or hold a coffee mug real awkward. Why didn't you ask a Kardashian or something? Yeah, guy. Get in with the ladies, guy. Hey, he's trying to help out. Like you've been trying with Kimmy Burton? I've seen Jabba the Hutt finish a marathon faster. Yeah, guy. You're a massive slug thing, guy. <sighs> to see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.